Hey folks, I'm gonna show you how you can turn your single bag or two single bags into a double bag. Now, depending on what type of bag you've got, there's a couple of different ways to do it. I'm gonna run through it with you. Let's get started. Hit it. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here today with a few different styles of sleeping bags. And what I'm gonna show you is how you can join them together to create a double bag so you can sleep together with your partner. There's a few things you need to consider. You can't just grab any old bag and zip them together. You generally need a bag from the same series or the same brand, so they've got the same size as zipper. And in the instance where there's zippers on the side or they're joined side by side, you need to have a left and a right zipper. So these bags here, I've got a left and a right zipper. But the next consideration is whether your sleeping bag has got one or two zippers. So these two bags here have got a single zipper. This zip runs right down the side. It gets to the foot here, it goes around the corner and finishes at this end here. So these two bags have got the same type of zipper. These bags here have got two zippers. So there's one zip that runs down the side here and it finishes here. And then there's a second zipper that runs around the foot section. Now this bag just uses this side zipper to join together. I'm gonna to show you that one after we've done with these ones. So the first thing I'm gonna do is zip both of these right open. So these are the sleeping bags with this single zip that runs right down the side and around the foot. So when they're unzipped, they form two big dooners here. Now I lay one on top of the other. Now these hoods have, these sleeping bags, sorry, have got a small hood on each one. Now the downside with having a hooded sleeping bag with a single zip when you're joining two together is one person ends up with a hood on top of their face, as you can see here. You can just fold that down or push it down, I suppose, but um, if it is a bigger hood, then that's kind of going to be something that's flapping on top of your face. Now to join these together, we need to come down to the foot end here. You can see we've got a zipper pull here on the top sleeping bag and a zipper pull here on the bottom sleeping bag. So this one marries up with the top bag here and zips around the side and up to the top. This one zips to the bottom bag here and goes around the, the, the bottom, sorry, and up the side there. So we zip both of those up and they'll be joined together. So we've now got our two bags joined together, the green one on the top and the blue one on the bottom. Now these are both from the same Mudgy series of bags from Coleman, so the zips are the same. We've got a nice roomy uh, double bag here. Now these are a nice square shape, so this type of setup is good for general camping. What it also means that on each side, the person's got the ability to unzip the side of the bag and fold their half down a little bit if they're a little bit warmer than the other person. Um, but it does give you a nice, uh, a good option to go inside a swag probably, or on top of say a double mattress inside a family camping tent. So that's the first style of zipping two bags together, one on top of the other. The other one are these bags over here. Now these bags are both from the same uh, series. It's a Cedar Summit series. Now these are guys have actually got their um, zip coupling system. So they're made specifically to zip side by side. I've got a right hand zipper here and a left hand zipper here. You can't zip two rights or two lefts together. It's got to be left and a right. And we're only joining the zip that finishes at this point on each side. So we unzip both of those, keep them side by side. Now with these guys, the zipper actually runs down the middle rather than on the side. So what we need to do is starting with the bottom zipper, we come to the bottom here and we're going to take the bottom zipper on this bag and put it in the zipper pull on the bottom zipper on the other bag. Slide that in place. Just make sure the zipper pulls are right at the bottom of the zip when you do this. And we zip this all the way up to the top. You can see that matches up nicely there. And we do the same thing with the top zip. We zip these right up to the top. We've now got two technical sleeping bags zipped together as a double. Now this is a much warmer sleeping bag on this side here than this one here. They're from the same brand, so they share the same zipper, so they are compatible, but you've got room or a nice comfortable solution for the cold sleeper on this side and the warm sleeper on this side. But what you don't get with the technical bags zipped together, the Cedar Summit bags are an exception because some of them do have a third quarter zip here, but for the most part, they won't have a zip down this side. So you don't have the ability to individually control your temperature with your own zip. There's only that one down the middle. The other thing you don't get with tapered bags like this is they don't sit quite as flat and you do get kind of this divider in between the foot section here. Um, so you, you, you don't get quite the same wiggle, wiggle room as you do with a double bag like this or a nice square shaped bag like this where you've got plenty of foot space and heaps of room to move around. So 
this is great for general camping or inside a double swag. This, great for adventurers or couples who are out trekking and hiking uh, and want to zip bags together to um, you know, share body heat um, and stay a bit warmer while they're in the outdoors. If you thought that video was useful, subscribe to our channel. You'll get all our latest and greatest information. Got any questions, let us know down in the comments below or check out some of our other sleeping gear videos like this one down here.